More and more people in the UK are swapping their regular cuppa for Ruibos tea. Also called Red Bush tea, its popularity has grown thanks to its health benefits, providing jobs for more than 5,000 farmers in South Africa. But the effects of climate change threaten the area where Ruibos is grown and the very livelihoods of those that grow it. In the Seda Bockefelt region of South Africa, UK aid is helping farmers to adapt to secure their future. This is Hendrik's story. Life in the Seide Bogafelt is not for softies, but when it's in your blood, there's nowhere else to be. My name is Hendrik Hasselman. I'm 72 years old, and I farm the same land I always have with the help of my wife, Sana, and my son, Bennett. We have been sharecroppers on this land, working on it for nearly 50 years now. We used to take water from the nearby spring, but when the drought hit a few years back, it slowed to a muddy trickle. We have seen droughts here before, but this was bad. We lost nearly all our tea crop in 2003. I was scared we might go under. They call me Uncle Hen around here. For eight years, I was chairman of the local Hayfield Cooperative a group for small rooibos tea farmers in the area. We know temperatures are rising, the desert is creeping towards our land from the north. Together, we wanted to take action. We started to plant shrubs as wind breaks to protect the soil and reeds to hold it together. Some of the farmers have been recording daily rainfall, as well as maximum and minimum temperatures every week. We compare this with the seasonal forecasts to help us plan ahead. We have also been working with the local researchers to test which of the wild types of rooibos are the most resistant to drought. As a group, we share all our experiences with each other, helping everyone learn to adapt. Slowly but surely, it's paying off. With the profits from our tea, my family was able to buy a second-hand tractor to help us plow. I don't have much, but what I have, I'm grateful for. Now I have been able to realize my dream. We recently bought the land we have been farming for so many decades. We are now farmers in our own right. 